Cash flow forecasting is the process of obtaining an estimate or forecast of a company's future financial position. The cash flow forecast is typically based on anticipated payments and receivables. See financial forecast for general discussion re methodology. Cash flow forecasting is an important element of financial management generally. Cash flow is the lifeblood of all businesses, particularly startups and small enterprises, and if the business runs out of cash and is not able to obtain new finance, it will become insolvent. As a result, it is essential that management forecast cash levels. How often will depend on the financial security of the business. If the business is struggling, management may assess, if not forecast, cash flow on a daily basis. If the finances are more stable, then this process may be weekly or monthly. Key dependencies re the forecast. In the context of corporate finance, cash flow forecasting is the modeling of a company or entity's future financial liquidity over a specific time frame. Short term generally relates to working capital management, and longer term to asset and liability management. Cash usually refers to the company's total bank balances, but often what is forecast is treasury position, which is cash plus short term investments minus short term debt. Cash flow is the change in cash or treasury position from one period to the next period. The cash flow projection is an important input into valuation of assets, budgeting, and determining appropriate capital structures in LBOs and leveraged recapitalizations. Depending on the organization, then this modeling may sit with FP and A or with corporate treasury. Cash flows may be forecast directly, as well as by several indirect methods. The direct method of cash flow forecasting schedules the company's cash receipts and disbursements. Receipts are primarily the collection of accounts receivable from recent sales, but also include sales of other assets, proceeds of financing, etc. Disbursements include payroll, payment of accounts payable from recent purchases, dividends, and interest on debt. This direct R&D method is best suited to the short-term forecasting horizon of 30 days because this is the period for which actual, as opposed to projected. Data is available. The three indirect methods are based on the company's projected income statements and balance sheets. Both the ANI and PBS methods are best suited to the medium term and long term forecasting horizons. Both are limited to the monthly or quarterly intervals of the financial plan and need to be adjusted for the difference between accrual accounting book cash and the often significantly different bank balances. In the context of entrepreneurs or managers of small and medium enterprises, Cash flow forecasting may be somewhat simpler, planning what cash will come into the business or business unit in order to ensure that outgoing can be managed so as to avoid them exceeding cash flow coming in. Entrepreneurs need to learn quickly that cash is king and, therefore, they must become good at cash flow forecasting. The simplest method is to have a spreadsheet that shows cash coming in from all sources out to at least 90 days, and all cash going out for the same period. This requires that the quantity and timings of receipts of cash from sales are reasonably accurate, which in turn requires judgment honed by experience of the industry concerned. Because it is rare for cash receipts to match sales forecasts exactly, and it is also rare for customers all to pay on time. A danger of using entirely theoretical. Methods in cash flow forecasting for managing a business is that there can be non-cash items in the cash flow as reported under financial accounting standards. This goes to the heart of the difference between financial accounting and management accounting. Thanks for watching.